Hey everyone, this is Rems Day 8 of November, hanging out in front of the CN Tower downtown Toronto right now. I thought I'd record a couple of videos outside since it's so gorgeous out. And uh, today I just want to make this one maybe a little quicker video. Just wanted to give a shout out to the first responders that we have supporting us. And that, that goes from everything from uh, paramedic to go transit officers to police officers, firefighters, uh, all the people that end up seeing like the worst of the worst in day-to-day uh, -day life that we often overlook and forget. You know, I've um, had the privilege of speaking to the OPP, the Ontario Pol Provincial Police, twice this year already. And what's what was brought what was brought to my attention is just about you know I didn't even think about originally how much that uh, these people have to see in their day-to-day -day lives. They're the ones that are showing up at car accidents. They're the ones that are uh, showing up when there's, you know, it's just been murders or killings or whatever it is, like, or suicides. Like, they're the ones that have to see this stuff go down in, in its worst form. And they're the ones that have to, you know, clean it up, deal with it, talk to the families, see the heartache, see the heartbreak. And then they have to often go home to their own families and try and live a normal life. And that's way harder than you could ever imagine. And in fact, um, because I'm outside right now, I can't think of the name of it, but there's, there's a website that monitors the number of first responders that have taken their own life. And the, the numbers are staggering. You know, uh, earlier this year when I saw it, I wish I could remember the name of the website. Uh, I'll try and put it up in the description here in the video. But um, it's unfortunate. It's just very sad and unfortunate because they see the worst of the worst. And they have to deal with all of that on top of just having their own challenges if they have their own challenges as well. So today's video is just a simple shout out to the first responders, all the people that uh, are there, you know, when we need you the most and supporting us. And uh, I just want everyone else to know how much that uh, mental health can impact them as well. That they, they deserve some recognition and uh, we appreciate you. So thanks for, uh, thanks for all that you do. Um, I've been doing a lot of, as uh, Gary Vaynerchuk said, uh, if he has his old term of jab, 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 right hook with social media, and uh, I haven't been plugging what I got going on right now, which is the uh, Movember Sledge Hockey Fundraiser. So if you um, click the links to my social profiles at Kevin Rempel on Instagram or Twitter, you can see the contest where for every $50 donation, you get an opportunity to win a Sledge Hockey demo, a spot in a Sledge Hockey demo valued at 5000 nearly $5,000 with me for the new uh, team building that I've created, the new corporate team building program around sledge hockey. So thanks very much, guys. Check it out at Kevin Rempel, First Responders. We love you and appreciate you. Talk to you soon.